Whoa, new intro. I hope you guys like that. Might tweak it a little bit, but uh, anyway, today is an exciting day for me. Over the years, I've made a bunch of little games here and there, and um, you know, I put them up on my website, and I tell you guys about it, and I don't know if anybody ever plays them, which is kind of sad, because I enjoy making them. And recently, I've talked about two games that I've been working on. One, my Cyber Griffin game, which is a platform shooter style, 2D style, Doom type game, uh, which is coming along great. I am so excited about it. I, I love what's coming along. It's, it's, I hope that you guys are looking forward to it too. Um, but today is about Space Attack 2, which is a sequel to a Space Attack game I made uh, about six years ago. Uh, but the exciting part is I've been trying to get it in the Debian repositories, which is a process that I've been going through. Um, but I did get it in the Google Play Store today. Uh, free, GPL, open source, all the good stuff. I will put a link in the description to the page where you can download it. I would really, really, it would mean so much to me if you guys give it a try. Um, download it, play it, and if you have any time, write a review. It really, really would mean a lot to me, because I make these games, and again, I've made games in the past, small games, um, and I don't know if anybody ever plays them, and it means, that I make them because I want people to play them, I want people to enjoy them. So this is a very simple little game, something to kill time on your phone, although it will run on your desktop, laptop, basically everything. Um, but the APK that you get through the Google Play Store on your phone or tablet, it's just something to do to kill time. You can probably beat the entire game in 15-20 minutes. You know, it's just flying around, shooting other ships, picking up power-ups. Um, but again, uh, I hope that you guys give it a try and you like it. Uh, been sending it out the link out to everybody I know who has an Android device and the one thing and I'm gonna bring this up because there is a little bit of confusion um, <laughs> when you design a game it's it's I tried to get people to test this before I put it in the store and I was like oh I will and no one ever got back to me now everyone's trying it now that I've put it in the store uh, but here's the basic concept of the game okay right so you go like this you're the spaceship you click somewhere when you click you shoot and wherever you put your finger, the ship will go there. That's all you need to know to play the game. Okay, and I bring that up because I've had three people tell me that they couldn't figure out the controls. Uh, some of them thought you had to drag the ship instead of just putting your finger somewhere and the ship follows. Um, and then I've had two people who it took them a while to realize that you had to click the screen to shoot. That's one of them talking to me right now. I'm texting back and forth with him right now. Um, once they figure out it's pretty simple, I mean, you think when you design these things, it's like, oh, I don't need to have instructions. It's literally put your finger on the screen and something happens. You put it someplace, the, the ship moves there. You put it someplace, it moves there. When you tap, it shoots. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those... I'm just turning the volume down on my phone so it doesn't keep dinging. Um, I just want to say that in this video, so when you guys try it, it isn't confusing to you. But when you're a designer, you think this is pretty straightforward. I, I can't make it any simpler than this, but people still don't get it. And that's, I've always said there's the whole, um, what do you call it, the um, uh, make things intuitive. When it comes to computers, there is nothing intuitive. Everything you learn, you do on a computer is learned. Uh, I remember the first time about 10 years ago I got my mom her first computer. Never realized she never really used a computer before and she did not understand how to use a mouse, how to move it and click on stuff. That's something that we would consider intuitive and there is no such thing. It's what you've learned. So even on my thing where it's literally you touch on the screen something happens and you'd think someone would be able to figure that out in the first few seconds. Apparently a number of people are having issues with that so I bring that up now. But again, I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I just want you guys to play it. I would just love to see the numbers of people downloading it go up. Uh, and again, if you have time, I would love to see a review. Um, and also, let me know if there's any bugs in the game you find. Because again, I tried to get people to test this and no one was getting back to me on it. So, thanks for watching. Check it out. And again, my new game, Cyber Griffin so excited about it's coming along i have lots of ideas and uh, i've got five levels designed so far and a bunch of things in it and a bunch of ideas for future levels and features so i'll keep you updated on that and hope that you have a great day visit filmsbychris.com this is chris with a k and there's a link to that in the description as well as a link to this app in the store and of course you get it on gitlab as well if you want to get the um 
the source code, and of course it will run on all major platforms. Check out all the links in the description, and have a great day.